everybody. Welcome to our, our daily KCT Lod master classes. And today I have great pleasure to introduce you one of the founders of KCT Lod, someone who was here from the first day in 1990, even 1989, even before KCT Lod started. And still, since then till now, every summer here, very proud to introduce you, wonderful violinist, pedagog Ani Schnarch. So we are ready to start our masterclass.
you're from, uh, very nice. I'm speaking in English. Today. Very, very nice. Um, I, I like it very much. We've been working somewhat on, on, on the sonata. You know, I have got um, thoughts about this sonata because it was written in the period of um, the fourth concerto for piano, piano and in the period of, of Eroica. So these pieces are large size pieces. And I don't know that we should treat chamber music, although it's written for musica da camera in such small size. In particular, that we are playing these pieces in large halls. This is much larger than a, a musica da camera, than a chamber, rather, at least twice larger. So I would, co I would consider the uh, sound produc production, in particular in piano, with more projection. When you're playing chords, they're great. They are, they are sending the sound. But you need to consider piano projection, right? Can we start from the beginning once we can? <laughs> I, I call Beethoven always the, uh, the, the dancing composer. By the way, piano needs to be very careful with the balance in general, right? And that's late. That's late, you're saying so fi. So fi, right? Let's go. With projection, please. Wait. Very good. Yes, I have sostenuto un even crescendo. Every single semi wave, a uh, 60 note, needs to be projecting. Much more articulation in left hand and more contact in right, right? Personally, I know that the, the original bows are in one bow. I fear I'm missing the pulse of the next bar. So, uh, if you want, uh, 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 only an eighth note because it uh, it's, has got a dot. Uh. You can play your bowings, just make sure that you have pulse in that, please. the same length of notes. Crescendo doesn't have to be more, um, more bow, it can be more energy. Because you, you are, uh, where are you? Rather than, uh, want to down. Of no, 
about, like piano does. Please. <laughs> Don't you the Can I make sure that you are starting the subject from the first beat and sit a yum but that that time. say congratulations for, for using, uh, for playing original Boeings. Not very comfortable and you are doing this very, with great ease. So con con congratulations, a, a bit of, <laughs> right, let's go. Okay. In particular on lower strings, in particular on lower strings you need to project because the uh, piano plays on high register and you are in lower register where violin doesn't respond so much. So you can play easily forte there, please. <laughs> Piano, uh, 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 and you piano there. This uh, from uh, it's forte and piano change character rather than, than volume character because we have we talked in lesson today that forte has got a different character than piano. So here here you are piano subito different character intimate, please. <laughs> to you on the stage, I can hear a lot of piano, and I don't hear, uh, uh, you are letting go in the upper part of the, of, uh, of the bow, play crescendo please, otherwise we, we cannot hear you, and, and send all your sound there. Actually, usually, usually the third one is, is has got importance. Uh, where are you? Right, this one. Uh, I'll try because you are you are hiding the interest in the harmo harmony. down and more and. Yeah. 
again, I prefer straight, straight um, three, three chord without any uh, break, uh, not breaking. Mm -hmm. Sorry. a little bit uh, sleepy. So, uh, so there's only cr uh, qu um, quarter note. to adjust harmonic stroke to the piano. You are playing a complement, and you need to, to support the dynamic that the piano plays in your, uh, in your dynamic. Can you try and look at Jenny? Okay. Sostenuto. Now. As Jenny plays the mirando, yom pom 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 pom. Can you do the same thing? Yom pom 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 pom. Please. And you can have dynamic. stage play to the front of the house moment the only the only singing place in this movement so you need to show what is what is so touching mm -hmm. try you make it to the back So more uh, no way uh, right. was piano now it's forte to tiro dai yam 
That's very good. You know, in general, you are playing very great quality, great quality, and um, warm and pleasant. For me, it's sometimes too soft. Beginnings are too soft. So I hear moi instead of ta. And um, this is connected, my, my idea is connected to, to the sound production of the piano. Right. So it wasn't uh, such a big piano. It was a Mozart piano, maybe developing into this. So you articulations almost like like uh, um, harpsichord. Mm? So I hear wah 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 in, instead of uh, I hear right. So make sure that uh, when you practice. Your, uh, your beginnings start with clear uh, consonants, right? Clear. Do you want to try once more? <laughs> From there. No, no, I didn't say play, he play heavier. So that you have martelli in every beginning. Otherwise, I, look, I don't, uh, don't know that this uh, has got the same. Impact, right? Click. Yeah, and vibrato before because then you have uh, instead of that martelli to get together with vibrato straight away. Yeah, okay. The second one has got a different a different uh, color, so I didn't hear the different. Uh, color here. Uh, yes, different one. Uh, right? Different. Bravo. This one. matter of diction. When you're playing, I'm, I'm sure you know, you need diction. Or you could, if you don't have diction, then it's not so clear. Right? Here, the diction is in left hand. Uh, it's not. And this way, you'll have the chance of having inner pulse as well. Without staying on, on, uh, on the beat, just articulating. Please. It's a sad sonata. Conspirito. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Yum pom 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 pom. Imagine you are double bass player. Mm -hmm. Okay. Articulate the same, no, uh, 
it helps to go to the place that you want to play the rest of the notes, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be longer. <laughs> Kids, can you play Crescendo di Mienda? Yeah, da 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 da. No, what I'm missing? Uh, uh, right? So play him in a. Right? Diminuendo, please. Now. Uh, it's beautiful. I got. soft people don't hear it so it, they can't hear how beautifully you play so everything that needs to be beautiful needs to be presented to the public right so it's beautiful dynamic I can hear they don't they can't hear yeah. Yeah. let's do this once more let's do this once more Just beware. Uh, no, uh, not so many accents. Crescendo to the base. Crescendo to the middle of the scale of the scale and then diminuendo. Very good. Your your target is top note. No, no. Martele, Martele. Nice, very nice, beautiful. This, uh, not. The first bit of, of the bar, not the second, right? I'm right in saying that the bass note is first bit. So you are playing uh, only the. And we said there is no ralentando, there is straight through. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So once more, uh, not there, uh, but uh, Okay. You're using too much bow, too near to the fingerboard and too flat. Come nearer to the bridge with the stick towards the the, uh, the bridge. Okay. Right. And 
you are so gentle with that chord. Go for it. You know, uh, with first, second, third, four fingers against the uh, the frog, the thumb. Yeah, but but I want to hear. Stay there. Flat hair. Uh, slow bow. Very good. Now. Uh, Make sure that you finish this, the movement. Yeah, I would go and practice a little bit more, three notes at once. This uh, four fingers towards the thumb, right? Very well done. Thank you very much. Beautiful playing. Beautiful. Thank you. Genia, thank you so much for your thank
Bravo, very well done. You are a very accomplished performer. Congratulations. And the question is, where do you go from here onwards? Well, a few ideas about the sonata and in general. Do you have a program in your mind about the sonata? So tell me. Well, the beginning is sort of, it's the beginning, it's starting to tell the, the story, the, um, the character. Um, and then when the second subject comes, it's like the main character, the, the, the human character. Uh, and after that, the part of bum, 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 it's when the, the mess starts, when, when things start to go wrong for that character. Okay. Well, let, let me tell you my, my idea, and then you can develop yours, and uh, not necessarily in my direction, mm -hmm. right? So the whole sonata as a whole, for me, is um, countryside in Russia, mm -hmm. um, very quiet, comfortable, moderato, and um, things are going. You can see the people dressed in their, in their suits, in their national suits, and suddenly something is happening. A little trumpet is saying, here we are, the circus is coming. This is, um, I'm sure you know. Okay, so then there is great excitement and everybody is saying, wow, the, the surface is coming. And they go and they see the clowns. They are going rolling, rolling, and there are some people that are amazed about the, the big top. Yes? Um, Simple-minded. Again, there are all the, the people running around and in the circus. And in the circus, next to the big top, the, there is a tent, the storyteller. And the storyteller is like, like you know, uh, Prokofiev likes fairies. So this is snow fairy. movement and of course like anything which is fun ends with celebration even there is a love story there uh, and uh, right so this is a whole this is the celebration of summer for sure there is no uh, snow and there is no cold it's summer celebration. So together with the idea that, that Prokofiev loved, beloved instrument was flute, we hear a lot of flute in his, uh, and then, then we can, uh, actually Sonata was written for flute, mm -hmm. and then developed for violin together with David Oshisar. So I think, Mezzoforte, uh, you start piano. So mezzo forte is almost forte, right? So uh, and there is so much color changes in, in every so here. Now pay attention. Uh, um, did you did you play yesterday in Peter and the Wolf? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the, the bird? All right. So there, there are so many articulations and so many uh, colors in this uh, movement. Now you go to C major. Uh, no, uh, I don't know. And uh, lovely, you did that. Uh, I love that, but then uh, I went. Uh, 
I'll change color. Change her. And even more here. And celebration. I didn't hear enough dance here. I didn't hear a stomp. Right? Do you want to try? Mezzo forte. Mm. You're playing piano. Mezzo forte, there is so much uh, energy in that. Try a little bit crescendo in the in the passage and much more articulation in left. Right? You played a better accent first time when you played it. I, I liked your accent. That's it, lovely. Mm -hmm. You play by memory, yeah? Let's go. I don't hear anything. Uh, this is what I hear. Stay. Stay. Stay there. Don't let go from the sound. It's all. What is the di dynamic? Okay. Yeah. Go. <laughs> The, where, where the energy is, not in beginning, because um, the piano has got in the beginning, ta -ka, ta -ka, ta -ka. but here, uh, and so on and so forth, but make sure that, yum, ba -dum, ba -dum, to remember Romeo walking, right? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is post Romeo. No, actually, this is before Romeo. He who, uh, he, because he wrote the beginning of the work on this sonata in uh, interbellic, let's call it like that, and uh, 1918, 1920. So the, the, there was some kind of, of freedom there. But Romeo and Juliet, he wrote in uh, 32. So this still needs to have a... <laughs> Some feeling of March. So you have dotted rhythm and you have triplets. It must be different. Try to 
to show that. He does, didn't write it by chance, I'm sure. Must augment it, must augment. Yes, sure. Details. I like that you're playing a diminuendo in the when you go down, but you are losing the sound. Yeah, we are losing. is not enough sound. I hear instead of I know that it's mezzo forte, but still the sound stays here, here, instead of the you need to send the sound out. No rest there, yeah. It's like a little coma. Right, but no rest. Mm -hmm. So you you have time to breathe, but I suggest just one little bow to change, not more, mm -hmm. so that you'll have. Um, <laughs> in such manner that you are pl uh, playing the last uh, part on an up bow. Down bow, daddy, down bow. Piano still with projection. Maybe not so much vibrato. And now shadows. Uh, right? So you have two or three different co uh, colors there, different dynamics there, different movement there, right? Try. Right. If you want to stop, then you need to give it, uh, to, to uh, throw it a, you can do that. I prefer a little bit of holding as well. But. So somehow you because if you do that, you'll have the resonance of the ears. Well, uh, hear that? 
right? Again, this is the string after E that we don't have, but it still there is resonance in that, mm -hmm. right? This. Yeah, and I tri start the, the triplet with Martele here. being example, it's slower. So you don't have to, to copy that, right? Fortissimo on the way? Don't remember. Top note is Fortissimo. Uh, C? Mm. No? Now this is different edition <laughs> than mine. Fortissimo. That one. La 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 la. Top note has got accent, accent as well, not just fortissimo. Go. Okay. So forte is broader. But not a there is so much space until fortissimo, so let it let it flow. But you're right. but it's a different color. He's progressed by half a tone. You are a happy man. No, no, 
not always happy. You don't have to be always happy. This is this is a little bit like the wolf yesterday, right? Good. <laughs> My score is different. The scale starts on the third beat. Three. That's it. You started half a bit early last time. And some people do it in order to accommodate so many notes. You don't need your, you are um, such a good violinist, you don't need to change this, the text, too much bow. Mm -hmm. You need to go a bit vertical there to hear that. I don't know that there. <laughs> and in tune as well. Please. No. forte here in C major, so skip it. Keep it. And then crescendo to forte. Mm -hmm. From, from uh, C major. <laughs> from there, keep the, the mezzo forte going on. kind of sound. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage you to look for different um, shadows, shades of, of sounds, because um, this way you have all the time the same mezzo forte, the same forte, the same piano. So I would, I would encourage to rather the to look for a different vibrato, different speed of bow.
accent. Um, Sorry? I don't have it, but... You don't have it, but... Uh, mm -hmm. It's not bad. But it's not, not playful enough. Mm -hmm. you, don't have, you don't have to, be, to have big accent. Just playfulness. Yeah? Top note! That's all. No, there is no alagando. Da 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 da. Hey, ya da da da. Kim bam kal. Four off. Did exactly four beats. Very good, well done. Com uh, congratulations. Very, very well done. Very beautiful. Toda, Jania. Toda, Raba. Toda. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.